All right, we will be looking at our system of equations review packet. We're going to be looking in this video at problems one through five. This will help us for our test on Friday. Pause the video at this time and work the problems. Pause and work the problems. Pause and work problems one through five, then come back and view the video. We will be looking at our systems um, review packet. In this video, we will look at problems one through five. This will help us for our test that will be on Friday. Okay, number one, it says what is the value of x in the solution for this system. Well, we know a system is two equations. We have one equation here, another equation here. The solution is the point of intersection of those two lines. It is the one point that those two lines have in common, and we're simply looking for the x value. Well, our calculator can assist us with this problem. Okay. from the home screen. We go add calculator one. Then menu. Then three algebra. Then two Solve system of linear equations. Number of equations, two variables are x and y. We're ready to go. Simply hit OK. Now we're going to enter in our two equations just like we see them. 6x subtract y equals 4. Scroll down. y equals 4x plus 2. Now we hit enter. It gives us the ordered pair 3, 14. The ordered pair is 3, comma, 14. X, comma, Y. Thus we're seeking the X value. X is 3. Number 1 is B. Okay, number 2. Getting to the question sentence, which system can be used to find the number of pounds of each kind of raisin needed to produce the mixture? Looking at the answer choices, we see they all say C plus Y is 40. C plus Y is 40. So we know that we're going to have C plus Y is 40. That is, C is the pounds of chocolate-covered raisins, and Y is the pounds of yogurt covered. So Y is yogurt covered, C is chocolate covered, together they are 40. Well that's C plus Y is 40. The key thing here is that C will be the chocolate covered pounds of. They sell for $1.50 a pound, so 150 needs to be multiplied by C. Let's see if we can find the equation that says that. 150 times C, that's a possibility. This says 150 C, we went 1.5, can't be B. This says 1.20 C, that's the yogurt covered. This says 120 C, so indeed A is the only one that shows 150 times C are chocolate covered. Number three. What is the solution for this system of linear equations? Well, this problem is exactly like number one. We can simply use our calculator like number one. Use the calculator, input that system, find the solution. <clears throat> number four. write and solve the system. So we're going to use our four-step process. All right. Step one, define 
variables. Okay. It says, at a college bookstore, Carla purchased math textbook and a novel. If the price of the math textbook M is 8 more than 3 times the price of the novel, N, write and solve the system. So we're, we're talking about math textbook and novel. We want to know what those prices are. So when I define my variables, step one, define the variables. I'm going to let m equal cost of, that's what I want to find, cost of math book. And n is going to be the cost of the novel. Okay. Step two. Write the system. We're going to write two equations that model this situation. It says the math book and the novel together cost 54. So quite simply, M, the cost of the math book, plus N, the cost of the novel, is $54. All right. Now it says the price of the math book M is, M is, we know is means equals, is is equals, the verb, whatever the verb is, is the equals, M equals, M equals, eight more than three times the novel, well, three times the novel would be three N plus eight. You can see this number sentence is the same as this sentence in English. M is, M is, three times the novel, three times the novel, eight more than, plus eight. I could have written it as eight plus three N, but this addition, it's commutative, so the order doesn't matter, but this is the way that we'll typically see, see it written. This is eight more than, three times the novel. Here is my system. Now, step three, solve the system. We can use our calculator just like we did previously in numbers one and three. I'm going to show this one because it's a different variable, although the procedure is the same. All right. So, home screen, one new document I don't want to save, one calculator, menu three for algebra. Two, solve system. Still two equations. Now we will use the variables M and N. M comma N. Okay. Now simply type in my two equations. M plus N is 54. M is... 3n plus 8, and hit enter. We have 85 over 2 and 23 over 2. I can hit control enter, and it gives me the decimal approximation, 42.5 and 11.5. This makes more sense in context. We're talking about money. All right, so I will write that solution. 42.5 comma 11.5, and this was... M comma N. So step four, we will write our solution in context. Step four. M is the math test book. It costs this much. N is the novel. It costs this much. The cost of the math book was... Forty-two fifty, and the cost of the novel was eleven fifty. All right. Step three was to solve, and step four, context. Tell what this solution represents. 
That is problem number four. Number five. What was the number of adult tickets sold? So we know one thing we're looking for are the number of adult tickets. I will say that A is number of adult tickets. A is the number of adult tickets. C is the child tickets. So we need to talk about that as well. C is the number of children tickets. We have defined our variables. All right. It says there were a total of 345 people served. Well, that's going to be A plus C is 345. We raised 1,395. Well, it says the adult tickets cost five, and the children's tickets cost three. So five times our adult tickets plus three times our children tickets is 1,395. All right, so here we can see. Tickets, 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 five dollars money, three dollars money, thirteen ninety five money. Money, 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 tickets, tickets, tickets. We can now solve this system using the calculator and state the conclusion in context. I think you can finish number five on your own.